So one of the big things with this is that it's quite complicated doing power stuff. I mean, I had the Tesla guys out here today fixing up my power wall because there's some, something wrong with it. Um, and so what I wanted to do is give people a step into joining ION as the community side of things before they need any kind of hardware or technical knowledge or anything. So it's literally just joining our community. Um, so the demo I'm going to show you is, uh, this is an Electron app. It's got Holochain running inside it, like uh, Connor set up. And this is going to, um, we're going to register as an agent and then show you a few bits and pieces. And then I've got the Pico grid uh, solar system running on, a, on another Holochain conductor as a separate agent. And that's going to be logging uh, some dummy data at the moment that comes out of the system that Sim's going to show you, which is actually real hardware with lights and stuff on it. Um, and I also just want to show you the Holochain conductor again, uh, the playground. So what you can see here is these are two agents that are uh, logged. So these are the actual cells running in different, different conductors. And you can see they're at the different, there's one here and one here. So they're two different running conductors and talk to each other. And you can see they just got agent entries in there. So what we're going to do is go back to the app and we'll do the standard registration stuff, which at the moment is um, not using the central um, profiles and personas thing that I was building last year. And we're going to join up now. And right, so now we've got this is a really simple way for people to join the community, right? You come in, you just registered, and now you're going to have an inbox system where people can send, it's kind of like emails, but kind of like chat, kind of like forum, but running on Holochain. Um, is it using the same stuff as Eric's been doing with Snapmail or like a different approach? I haven't touched Holochain for nearly a year. Yep. <laughs> Up until I started working at Redgrid again, or Ion. So I'm catching up on all of that cool stuff that people have been building. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so, but yes, any of that stuff will be right. So I'm using but, the... Yeah, go, sorry, go. Uh, I'm using the profiles stuff from uh, Holochain Dev Community. Yep. Just, just if I can jump in there too, feel like that, that um, the inbox, uh, that communication tool is what we're finding in, in these sort of community battery and community renewable projects. It's actually a real gap in the the solutions like they can't communicate with they they lack a way to communicate with one another and and um, make announcements and and that sort of stuff so um yeah that that's been a real interest in that realm for sure yeah exactly and so one of the things that i'm going to do is like in um the acorn app you when you start a new project that's a new dna or new dht right so it's a unique one just for the people that you invite that's going to be the same system here. So when you uh, say I want to send an email to the people in this group, that would be one DHT, but a different. Like if I'm sending one to my family, that's a different DHT. So um, then you get real privacy. Anyway, let's go back to the fun part. So <laughs> after mucking around, <laughs> we were looking at how do we actually like visualize what's going on. So I based this energy simulator. So you can run in two modes. So Remember, this is for people who uh, do and don't have solar batteries, whatever they may have. Um, so in the simulator mode, you can see what things are gonna be like. So I can say, uh, let's say my house is currently using, oh, let's have a look. My house is using 1.5 kilowatts. So, That's live. <laughs> uh, and no solar, but it's drawing from the battery a little bit. Right, so it's a good starting point. So what, when I start this simulator, every five seconds, it counts on an hour, right? So, <clears throat> and what it's doing is it's logging that data into a graph for us. So we can say in a few hours time, I've completely run out of battery and I'm drawing power from the internet of energy before the grid. So the, the grid represents like your normal retailer and internet of energy is the peer-to-peer -peer trading. So, so there's a spike in power at midnight and you can see I'm using some grid power as it goes to the next day. Because I did all my washing at night and I 
use my dishwasher and everything because of the Powers app from Red Grid that tells you, you know, what's a good time to start using these things. And then in the morning, when the sun comes up, I can actually start generating some solar, which is going to charge the battery for a little while. I've got a big system, so these are actually relatively good numbers. Get up to here, All right? So this is now batteries charged, and you can see I'm selling power back to the Internet of Energy now. You've kind of touched on it, Phil, but I guess what it's showing is left to right, sort of the order of use. So you have a house that's drawing, and then you go to solar, you go to your local battery. If you don't have a local battery, you can go to the Internet of Energy, and then the last resort is back to the national grid. That's right. So when you're selling to the Internet of Energy, you're actually charging up all the local community batteries yep. for other people to draw down on. Right, so the sun's going down a bit. Getting late in the afternoon. Oh, it's Melbourne, so we'll go to zero. Right, and now we're using the battery again. A couple of hours. And then I run out of battery and we're back on to using the uh, Internet of Energy again. Right. So that was just the, so the, that data I can get from, so you can simulate it there and see how, you know, what's this going to look like? That's what I was thinking. Then you can switch it to monitor mode, which is what I'm working on right now. And the idea of that monitor mode is that'll actually pick up this live data from, if you've got a, uh, system. So you can see here that my battery is discharging and powering the whole house. What's really neat is you can get access to the API and um, you can get this instant data. So I can just refresh this and you can see that that's the time now. Um, my battery is 1.5 kilowatts being used, which you can see there. And the load down here is about one and a half kilowatts as well. And solar. Oh, look at that, none, because it's middle of the night. Right, so that's the monitor mode, which, I can, which I'll set up soon. Now, the Pico grid side of things is going to be a lot more fun. So let's kind of look at the mm -hmm. playground again. And now you'll see that this user, when they, or this person, sorry, participant, um, you can see I logged my actual um, profile there. And these are some entries on the DHT. If we now go to um, the Pico Grid app, which I'll just quickly show you what it's going to do. So I get a bit of sense. Um, so the one Sim is going to show you actually hooks up to different uh, hardware, um, batteries and solar panels and stuff like that. I'm running a dummy mock one at the moment. And essentially what this is going to do, it just loops through and it'll send uh, on the uh, web socket this uh, information about um, the different devices that I'm connected to. And then, so if we run that now, <clears throat> and go back to the playground. We should see. Yeah. I'll demo this. All right, I'll break it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's try it again. Try again. Number change. I <laughs> typed in the wrong one. As you do. No pressure. <laughs> I like pressure. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's go and start up again. Right. Here we go. And then. Uh, 
up to it. There we go. Much better. There we go. All right. So now if we want to look in here, you should see. Where'd they go? Oh, here's all the entries here. Um, no. What else broke? No, they're actually going in there. And seven one eight. Oh, there's a. All right, that is, <laughs> um, yes, because they're connected to an old one. That's right. Anyway, what I was supposed to show you was that um, it creates all these logged entries, which you can see they're actually getting created because this is the hashes coming back from Holochain. Um, but because the port changed, the playground is not hooked up to it at the moment. Um, but yeah, so the outcome of that is that now we've got a way to log the data from whatever devices you're connected to into Holochain. And this is running on my local uh, home network system. So I've got my uh, of energy app here so that it'll be connected to it. And then the actual devices are connected as well. 